Hey everybody, Sean here from Sean's RC Adventures. Today we're going to unbox the uh, Team Reefy. Um, they actually call it a Defender Station Wagon 110 hard body. I don't know why they call it a Defender Station Wagon. We all know it's a D110. So let's get into it. Um, the reason why I'm using this today, guys, is I want to spread this out and just show you exactly how much stuff there actually is with this thing. Um, my desk is just nowhere near big enough to spread it out to show you. And I will put the chassis here as well. I do have the Boom Racing chassis to go with this, but let's get into it. So here we have some nice decals. They give you the Land Rover, the Fender, some Camo, which Actually, the camel stickers look a little funky. They're gold and black. Some TD5 stickers. So some pretty nice decals there. Um, uh, as I said, we'll spread this thing out. There's the hood, pretty straightforward. There's the flares for the outside of the body. The flares for your outer fenders. Uh, glass for all your windows, all your lights, everything. There's a lot of glass to this. This is your windshield and your back door, along with your fuel cap. So this is your fuel cell. This is your windshield and then the rear door. So the rear door on this thing actually opens as well. Here's a lot more glass. So let's get the body out guys. So this body does have to go together. Um, as I said, the hood will open, all the doors will open, the back door will go open. This piece is just sitting here right now, the same as this. It's just sitting here. Um, this will go out over the top of it and it will all go together. So let's just put that up here, out of the way. Move this stuff up. So make sure we definitely have enough room for everything. Um, these are your seats. So these things are actually these pretty are nice. Solid rubber, like how thick the rubber is on them. And they look pretty nice. So that's your two front seats. Your back seats. So the back seats are actually really nice as well, really thick rubber. Once they go in, they should be pretty good. Um, there's a lot of prep work to do with this. This is all the interior stuff, the dashboard, steering wheel, gear levers. So this stuff is pretty nice. Well detailed, so like there's a lot of, I'm gonna have a lot of painting too. Uh, front grill, looks like it has a radiator behind it. Um, light pockets and some side rails for it as well. Just make sure we have enough room. So you can see why my desk guy is not big enough for this. This is the light buckets, actually mirrors and all the stuff for the And also this is the mirrors, this is the glass for the mirrors. So here we have the five of all the magnets, the screwdrivers. The one thing I don't like about this though is all the screws are actually Phillips head screws. I wish they had made them with an Allen head. But look how tiny these little magnets are guys. That's like insane. So there's gonna be some intricate building I think in this thing. Here we have, so this is all the interior door panels. So this is like all the wind up windows. This is the thing for holding the spare wheel on the back. I'm not sure what this piece is for. I'm not sure it's something to do with the dashboard or something. Or maybe it's the interior for the back door. Oh, I'd say that's probably what it is. Um, this is a bag. So this is all the door handles, windshield wipers, just miscellaneous plastic parts. Plastic parts. They don't need to go on. And here, obviously, just the four doors. So these are four doors to go in with it. Um, and then here we have the interior. It's, it's going to need a lot of prep work and a lot of painting as well. I still haven't decided on 
a paint scheme for this. I will talk here about that in a moment. Okay, so let's set that right there. And now we'll grab the chassis for this thing. So this guys, this is your wheels, and they come with they actually come with beadlock rims. Pretty nice looking rims. All metal beadlock rims. The tires, guys, are so scale. Look at the the scaleness of these tires, and that's that's what I want this rig for. So they're 1.9s by 1.2 by 3.9, and the reason I, I want this, I I don't want to be killing this. I want this for the real scale look of this rig, and that's why I really wanted this. But the tires and the bead locks. Let's get the chassis out, now guys. This. Is all metal and weighs a lot like this thing is all metal I will have to open it all up and re-grease it and redo stuff to it so but as I said I don't want this to be getting killed I have loads of but loads of trucks with portal axles with all that stuff and I really love the scale look of this um, one thing as well this actually has a longer wheelbase I know it doesn't look like it but this is a longer wheelbase than the TRX4 Defender. So this thing, it might look small sitting there guys, but this is everything except for the electronics that you will need for the Team Reefy body and uh, the chassis from Boom Racing. Again, this thing has a longer wheelbase than a TRX4. I know it doesn't look like it, but when it's put together, it will. Um, I would like to know your thoughts though guys on um, I already have three camel trophy trucks um, I have a TRX4 camel trophy truck I have a D90 camel trophy truck I have a Range Rover camel trophy truck so I was thinking do I do a D110 camel trophy truck but considering the TRX4 is already technically a D110 I was thinking of going camouflage since I don't have any camouflage trucks I did pick up this camouflage paint so let me know what you think guys camouflaged or camel trophy so one quick thing I did forget to show you guys was the instruction manual so this will just give you an idea of this is what it will look like and give you an idea of the amount of parts what all has to go together in this I do like the fact that the the windows actually screw between the panels so you can leave the windows out or put them in it's up to yourself but there is going to be a lot of building in this body the manual is all just for the body like it's crazy so this is what the doors will open the hood will open the back doors will open this is what the way the interior will look so um, should be a fun build it's a really scale looking landover can't wait to get started on it. All right, thanks guys.